What you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's based on a fake Microsoft Security Essentials alert. Now this is fake, but if you are running uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, then you could quite easily fall for this type of scam because obviously um, it's flagged up and it looks exactly like uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. And it's saying basically your system has been blocked for security reasons and Microsoft Security Essentials detected potential threats. Your, your system has reached the critical security level because of visiting sites with infected or, and pornographic content. Now basically what they're doing here is trying to lure you into paying for something that you don't need. Now it puts up this uh, pretty convincing fake scan uh, window here that shows you that you're uh, infected and it's severe. And then they give you the option to go next which allows you then to pay for the product to get rid of this ransom. Now obviously this is all fake and you can see these are all greyed out here. You can't click on these. All it's interested in is you installing the patch as it calls it, which is no patch at all. It's just a key code and all you'd need to do is purchase their key code and they would allow you to be up and running. Okay, So don't fall for these types of things, they are fake. And they're saying that this will remove all viruses from your system. So let's go and remove this from the system. We're going to be booting into safe mode with command prompt. And if you don't know how to do that, the instructions are up on the screen right now. So I'm going to quickly reboot the system and go into safe mode with command prompt and remove it from there. OK, on reboot, I was tapping F8 on the keyboard and uh, we're getting into advanced boot options here. And as you can see, we've got a load of options open to us here. And we're going to be coming down to safe mode with command prompt. So I'm going to enter that. OK, so we're at safe mode with uh, command prompt here. I'm going to type in explorer.exe and then push enter. And then I'm going to flick this down to my taskbar here. Now the first thing I need to do is close that off and then go start computer and then going to go to organize here and then folder and search options. Come up to the view tab and we want to show hidden files, folders and drives and we also want to take out hide extensions and we also want to unhide our operating system files. We can put this back afterwards, I would advise you to do that, don't leave this open all the time. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to go into the C drive, then Users, and then we're going to go into the actual account that's infected. In this case, mine's called Brightech. Yours will be called whatever your account is. Then you want to come up to App Data, then Local, and look for a folder called Skype. This is the folder that's in, got the infection in it, and there you can see the file there. So we're just going to delete this whole folder. We're going to the temp folder here. Just delete anything inside here. Right click and delete. Now one of them will be left behind. Just ignore that. Skip that one. OK. So let's close this off. I'm going to come down to the start button here. All programs. And just check the start up just to make sure that that's empty. That is now empty. That's OK. That's good. So now we've done that, we can now close off our operating system files, hide those back up. Now you can turn the uh, show hidden files off if you wish. I'm going to leave mine open. And what we're going to do here now is just reboot the system and then run Malwarebytes once we've rebooted. So I'm going to close off this command prompt window and reboot the system. Okay, so we're back at the desktop here. I'm going to run Malwarebytes. 
Now I know a lot of these are very easy to remove for a lot of people but there's a load of people out there that need help to remove these and this is the reason why I make these videos. So let's now click on to malware bytes here and go yes and then we're going to update malware bytes. I'm going to hit the scanner and then do a quick scan on the system. We should be clean but I'm just going to make sure. Okay so that's the scan now complete and it's found one infection and that's probably the infection that I've deleted and put into the recycle bin. So let's just go show uh, results here and as you can see it's just the one that's inside the recycle bin. So we'll empty that recycle bin now and we don't need to bother with that because it's now gone. And that's pretty much it for this one. It's pretty straightforward. And I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button. Also, rate and favorite me videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.